through this process, hopefully what we're educating uh, folks to do is make sure that they have alternative methods uh, to be able to get the, the life-saving information. Yeah, crews spending this day working to get that all-important weather radio transmitter in Cedar Rapids repaired and back working again. It's in need of a new antenna and several cables, we're told. It noticed an issue with the Cedar Rapids NOAA weather radio transmitter way back in mid-March. Many of the old parts are from when the weather radio was first commissioned, 1978. How about that? Still having some of the original parts there. So they determined it needed a brand new antenna, some cables, tried to get the issue fixed quickly, but there's been kind of a long wait for some of the parts. They're still waiting for the parts. Well, now the parts have finally come in, and today the National Weather Service and a contractor begin the all-important repair work. Crews assembling the equipment for the new antenna just this afternoon, and they plan to scale the 250-foot tower tomorrow to make all the uh, installations as long, of course, as the weather cooperates. I'm trying to have all of our uh systems up and running at a full capacity, especially when we have significant weather, because uh, we don't want to have anybody, uh, you know, potentially lose a life or anything like that. So, you know, we want to make sure we get the word out as best that we can with all the avenues that we can uh, to, to, for the protection of life and property. Now, throughout this outage, residents who live in the Cedar Rapids area of Lynn County are still able to receive weather information from nearby areas due to overlapping signals, we're told. The Weather Service, though, says this is why it's so important to have multiple ways to get your weather alerts.